Hey guys, this is Sun Productions, aka okay, Nana4603, and I'm back in Area X Theorem Part 3. Hi! Uh, nice to see you guys again. Though I can't really see you. <laughs> Just ruined everything right there. Um, yes, I'm going to continue. So, I can't remember what happened, but... I have come to accept that this is the way our world is. Oh, Livan just held his big speech. I see. Those were the basics of their beliefs. I didn't uh, think much of it back then. But now that I think about it, whatever they've done has stemmed from those beliefs. You must be wondering why I keep talking about them. Healthier. They are the ones who were responsible for your life up until now. What do you mean? I left shortly after I brought those children to the mountain. Before I left, I had a talk with you. Elsie, do you get along with everyone? I think so. Is there anyone that caught your attention? Huh? I guess Gorilla, I mean Rexus. I don't know why, but I just can't stop teasing him. And there's Livan. He's really nice, and I enjoy talking to him. He's a little strange though, I can't tell what he's thinking. <laughs> That's good to hear. I guess it should be alright now. Mother, are you leaving? Yes. But it's only been a few days. I'm sorry, but I must go. Why? You're gonna leave us again? No, don't leave us. Please. I don't want to be left alone anymore. I'm tired of waiting. I want you to be with us. Please. I'm sorry, Althea. I'm really sorry. But I have no choice. This is the only thing I can do to protect the two of you. It may be hard, but I know you can do it. Because, Althea, you're my dearest daughter. You're strong and smart. You can do anything even without me. Am I right? And this time, you have many friends with you. You're not alone. I understand. I'll do my best. That's my girl. I'm proud of you. Before I go, there's something I need to give you. Huh? This is... This jewel, jewel is known as the Silver Orb. It's, a sac it's the sacred treasure, treasure of the ether, created by our great ancestor. It was made out of a special stone that has the power to absorb that mana, and that's exactly what this orb is capable of doing. It has absorbed thousands, absorbed thousands of Ethan's uh, mana from various ger generations. Words. It's so powerful that it's believed to have power to grant anyone's wishes. Elsie, I'm giving it to you. Huh? But why? Elsie, do you know why we've uh, been running all this time? It would be a lot easier just to get captured and dealt and deal uh, and be dealt with. But this orb is the reason why I have to run. Elder handed it to me before her death. She told me that it isn't something normal people should use, or it may bring catastro catastrophe. That's why I have to run. I mustn't let it fall into the wrong hands. I see. I'll take care of it. I'll make sure no one touches it. When Essie gets older, you can pass it down to her. Essie. She's still young, but I can tell that she has inherited the Ethan's blood. I'm sure she can put it for t to good use. I understand. I'll give it to Essie when she gets older. Thank you. I have to go now. Take care. My dearest daughter. There are two reasons why I decided to hand, hand you the silver orb. The first is to prevent anyone else from getting their hands on it. The other one is that if anything happens to me, you'll have something to protect you. But it was a mistake. Elsia, your father was an ordinary person. That's why I never thought all of my children uh, would inherit the Ethan's blood. It's it, way easy to see uh, it in Essie. Her powers resemble mine. But in your case, it went unnoticed. You didn't show any kind of supernatural abilities. Even now, I'm sure... I'm sure you don't know what kind of powers you're born with. I have powers. Yes. Don't you feel it from time to time? Uh, 
pretty. The whispers of time, the heartbeats of the roaming souls, the presence of things that no one, no one can see or feel. It's not just that. The extent of your power is so great that it's not a stretch to say that the ability is chip that it's an ability that surpasses the god's realm. I, I didn't know. It can't be helped. I didn't notice it too. There are several of reasons why it usually remains un un undetected. There are it's an extreme rare, rare ability that many, many that many see it as a myth. Before this, I would never dream that you would be uh, the one to possess it. Aside from that, this type of ability can observe the balance of nature. Uh, naturally, it requires an immense amount of mana. The amount needed is far greater than what a normal person could hold. That's why no one was able to use this ability to its full potential. At, at best, it can only manifest itself as dreams. I see. That's why I always see the same dream. What did you see? A silver river. A really beautiful place. But I also feel that it's a very sad place. I'm not even sure why. I see. That must have been a, a manifestation of your ability. If only I've known it earlier. I wouldn't have given you the silver orb. Whoops. What do you mean? Filled on. Oh, sorry about that. Um, I was going to eat dinner. <laughs> Most random comment ever. <laughs> uh, yeah. I felt uneasy uh, not long after I left you. It's like something horrible is about to happen. That's why I rushed back to the Silver Mountain. Huh? An earthquake. No way! Oh, oops! I took out the sound. <laughs> I muted the sound, I'm sorry. No way! Elsia, Essie! No! I managed to stay alive with whatever power I've left, but it wasn't enough to stop the ambulance. When it's over, the scenery in front of me was. No. Elsia, Essie, this can't be happening! Huh? The search of mana. Livan! What are you doing? No, stop! Don't do it! In his hands was the silver orb. He wished for time to return back to when everyone was still alive. He must have heard from you uh, about it being capable of granting every anyone's wishes. However, not. No matter how powerful the silver orb is, it's merely a pool of mana. It's incapable of breaking the boundary of time and space. It was your power that makes it possible. That's right. When I gave you the orb, it, absor it absorbed your ability. And then, the impossible became possible. Levan's wish was granted. He successfully made a world where everyone is still alive. But he's not you. He didn't know how to use the mana properly. As a result, this world was created. I witnessed everything. From the destruction of the old world to the birth of the new world. And how you ended up in the future while I ended up in this place. Unbelievable. So, I'm still alive because M Livan made that wish? Yes. Then what about Rexus? How is he involved in this? Let me ask you. How did you get here? Huh? Well, I used this watch. Where did you get it from? A technology in the future? Don't tell me. That's right. He's the one who made it possible. Ferrum gave him uh, the knowledge and he used it. So, the leader of our organization is Rexus. Unbelievable. To think that all of us are connected in such a strange way. Indeed. Fate is such a strange thing, isn't it? In any case, that's pretty much what I know. Elsia, what are you going to do? I'm gonna return to Ariax. Ariax? The place where Fairy up is at. There are a few things I, I want to ask him. I see. I guess there's no way to stop you. Huh? Elsia, do you hate me? Why would you say that? 
I abandoned you when you were so young. I gave you the uh, gave you bur burden to take care of your sister El Essie. Elsie. <laughs> I even said those cruel words to you. Because Elsie, you're my dearest daughter. You're strong and smart. You can do anything even without me. Am I right? I said that with full knowledge that you believe anything I told you. Yet in the end, it was my decision that brought you to this. It was, uh, it, it was I who put you in this situation. All of that just because I didn't have faith in you. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm such a terrible mother, aren't I? There's no way I could even ever hate you. It may be harsh, but if it wasn't for your words, I wouldn't be able to remain strong. And you wouldn't be here and I wouldn't be here to meet you again. I'm happy and proud to have you as my mother. Elsia, thank you. That's just a thing that hit me right here. Uh, I know this is kind of weird for her, but Sierra doesn't look old at all. She looks way too young to be the mother of a 17 year old girl, don't you think? Like, how young was she when she got Elsia? Elsia is 17 now, I think. And I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but really, that's weird. She m must be. Ah, uh, math. <laughs> but she shouldn't. Should be pretty old. Because, like, my mother is. Pretty young. Was a pretty young mother, but she's getting older now. And if she was. Uh, uh, never mind. She doesn't look very old. <laughs> she looks like she's like 20 or 19. Of 25 or something. <laughs> Holy shit. Anyway, I've returned. Yeah, she came at the right time. Will you escort Elsia back to the mountain? Are you two done talking? Yes. I see. Come, follow me. Nod. I'm happy to and proud to have you as my mother. No, Elsia. That should have been my line. You've turned out to be a lot stronger and, ca uh, and capable than I would ever hope for. I'm happy and proud to have you, my you as my daughter. That's why I'll always support you. No matter what path you choose to take. You chose to do- uh, I don't know. This place should be fine. Are you sure you'll be fine on your own? Yes. Thank you for escorting me. Yuras. Thank you for taking care of Sierra. She's a very important person to me. I can't thank you enough. It's nothing. She's very important to me too. I can tell. That's exactly why I thank you. I don't get it. <laughs> Take care. It's time to go back. Woo! Going to Area X. Welcome back. Did you find the answer you were looking for? Yes. Thank you for directing me to the Ice Age. I'm really grateful. But still, I'm not satisfied. What I heard isn't the entire story. My mother is still hiding something from me. So you noticed. She looked like she was in pain when she told me her story. If that was all there was to it, then there's no reason to be sad. I'm still alive, and so is she. Unless there's something she didn't tell me. You're very perceptive. Is that why you returned to this place? It's just so you can ask me? You got it. Oh, by knowing that you uh, would most likely refuse to tell me. It's alright. I don't intend to rely on you. I just want your con wanted your confirmation. Besides, I already had an idea of what I'm going to do. You are truly an odd one. <laughs> you said that before, and I'm going to return it back, uh, uh, it back you once again. Like you're the one to talk. Alright. Next stop is the future. And that's all I can do for now, so I guess I will see you guys in the next episode, so bye!